Black holes explained in two minutes. Imagine a star much, much bigger than our sun. For billions of years, it's a cosmic powerhouse, burning bright. But eventually, even stars run out of fuel. When a truly massive star dies, it doesn't just fade away. It collapses under its own incredible weight. Picture squishing something the size of a city down to the size of a single sugar cube. All that mass, all that gravity, gets packed into an impossibly small space. That's how a black hole is born. Its gravity is so powerful, so intense, that nothing can escape it. Not even light, the fastest thing in the universe. That's why they're called black holes. They don't reflect any light, making them completely invisible. So how do we know they're there? We see their effects. We watch as stars and gas clouds get pulled into a swirling, high-speed dance around an empty point in space before they disappear forever. This point of no return is called the event horizon. Think of it like the edge of a waterfall. Before you get to the edge, you can still swim away, but once you go over, there's no turning back. Anything that crosses the event horizon, a planet, a star, even a beam of light, is pulled into the center, a point called the singularity. What happens there? Honestly, we don't know. The laws of physics as we understand them completely break down. It's one of the biggest unanswered questions in all of science. So, are they cosmic vacuum cleaners sucking up everything in the universe? Not really. A black hole is just an object with a lot of gravity. If our sun were suddenly replaced with a black hole of the same mass, Earth would just keep orbiting it like normal. We wouldn't get sucked in. It would just get very, very cold. From the end of a star's life to the ultimate cosmic mystery, black holes are a reminder of just how wild and wonderful our universe is. They're not just holes in space. They're the mind-bending final chapter for the biggest stars in the cosmos.